We had a very mixed mailbag about it, some people stressing the absolute nutter necessity of process and all this if somebody's career is about to be brought to a shuddering halt, but also many other people saying in any other walk of life, in any other workplace, this sort of behaviour would be absolutely intolerable. What say you? Look, I think both of those views are entirely compatible. I think it's completely unacceptable. Nobody in any other workplace would think that was acceptable. There's uh, literally nobody uh, I can think of who would even vaguely think it was acceptable in any uh, workplace. But you're right, it does need to be investigated. I hope that's exactly what the whips are doing. I hope they're doing it very quickly and that they'll resolve this fast because this isn't just about an individual. This is about getting proper democratic representation into our country. We need everybody to feel that they have a place in our parliament. We need everybody to feel that they have a chance to run, a chance to serve their community, to speak up for the for the voices that they think matter. Now, you know, you and I may agree or disagree with them, but the whole point of a democracy is that people are able to stand and feel able to put forward their point of view and champion it. And they're not, they don't feel that they have to stay away because they're bullied out or shamed out. And so what we need to see is we need to see everybody comfortable in our parliament. And I'm afraid these actions, if they're shown to be true, are going to be absolutely incompatible with a truly functioning democracy. Um, I'm not going to sort of aim for a bit of TV theatrics by saying, do you know who he is? Uh, I mean, if you do, you're very oh, welcome. Like, <laughs> you know, OK. Do, do you think, you know, OK, do, given what we just said about process, um, it was put to me yesterday that the individual concerned ought to retain their anonymity throughout the course of that process. Do you agree with that? Uh, well, I think that what we've got to do is find out exactly what's going on. The problem with that is part of the process has got to be uh, the suspension of the whip, which uh, at that point... Uh, I'm afraid is pretty revealing. So, you know, I think that's a very difficult thing to achieve um, because the difference of being a member of parliament and anything, anybody else is you're representing a community and the community has a right to know who's who's representing them um, and has a right to know on what basis and, and in what way you can do so. And if uh, your actions are incompatible with uh, a functioning workplace, then I'm afraid there are other people who have rights too. And those other people... Uh, you know, colleagues on the, uh, you know, in, uh, in members of parliament, but also staff, also uh, staff of your office, staff of the House of Commons also have rights. And so you need to make sure that theirs are protected too.